Well, his joints, as Tom Douglas calls them, were the gold standard of success in Seattle. But now the restaurant icon says he and his business partners are broke and his employees were laid off. Mm, tough times. And now another famous restaurateur is stepping up to help those out of work. Cairo 7's Chris Francis shows you how and the impact it could have nationwide. I have 850 people that I just had to lay off that are out there struggling to make rent, uh, feed their kids, pay their bills. Tom Douglas has had to close all 16 of the properties under his Seattle Kitchen umbrella. Places like Lola, Palace Kitchen, and Dahlia Lounge. And he doesn't know when or if they will reopen. I hate to force reality on people, but the reality is that it's going to be tough to come back. It's going to be tough for 50% of our restaurants to come back. Thursday, Douglas joined a virtual town hall with a candid assessment. You don't just come back from this. This costs $3 million just to close my businesses down. Yeah, it was, it was, it's, it's, we are broke. Enter another celebrity chef, Guy Fieri, who has started the Restaurant Employee Relief Fund. I'm starting to put the math together and I'm going, wait a second, we got tens of thousands of restaurants, tens of thousands of restaurants and three million employees right now that are without jobs. These folks need some help. His message, go to the website and donate. We walk into a restaurant, walk into a bar, walk into a, a coffee shop, and they're there to greet you and say hello to you and make you feel good and take care of you. Well, now's our chance as the public to come and take care of them. Fieri is also a little more optimistic than Douglas. Business will come. Business will come. We will rebound. The restaurant industry is incredibly resilient. Um, it's just the staying power right now that's so critical. The National Restaurant Association says between 5 and 7 million people will lose their jobs over the next three months. The website is RERF.US, and as you can imagine, it was overwhelmed in the first 24 hours, and they are having some technical issues. They'll try to resolve those as quickly as possible. Chris Francis, Cairo 7 News.